Hello students, welcome to any lecture related to the subject of BVOC. Today we will be discussing the importance of the process called as branding. Branding is a process that comes just before marketing and is just equally important as marketing. Today we will be elaborately discussing what the importance of this elaborate process of branding is. First point is basically it is the best way to ensure that a product or a company is perceived in the way it intends to be perceived. Every single product or a service will have an ethos of its own or a nature of its own which it wants, it wants its audience to perceive in the exact same manner. Let's say for example SDM is an institution that gives a lot of value to discipline. So we build a brand that is based on the ideals of discipline. We conduct events, we design uniforms, we design taglines and events, all of it which has its foundation in discipline. So when, an, when a product or a service has a very specific ethos or a nature that it wants its audience to comprehend, branding is a process which facilitates that to happen. Secondly, it defines not only the product but the audience as well. In the process of branding, we not only define the product, yes we do actually, we define the product as well as the service using the taglines, using the logos, using the color codes, using the brand ambassadors that we use. Not only that, we also define the kind of audience that we want to attract. The kind of audience that we attract depends on the kind of advertisements we make, kind of appeal that we utilize to reach out to a particular type of audience. So, target audience is a very important part of marketing. The process of branding helps us define that audience from the beginning itself. The third point, branding tells the story of the product without actually having to say it. Every product or every service has a story behind it. Not necessarily a story with characters and dialogues and plot lines, but every product has a nature or a message that it wishes to give to its audience. And branding is the process through which that exact message can be given without actually having to say the very lengthy or the very elaborate story behind it. Using taglines or using small techniques such as color coding even, we can say the story of the product or the service which cannot be done otherwise. The product or service becomes easily identifiable through symbols, colors, names in the market. Let's say for example Maggi, when you close your eyes and think of Maggi, there is instantly an image of the packaging that comes into your mind. You could as well as close your mind, go into a supermarket and pick up Maggi from amongst a pack of other noodles. That's basically what I mean by the product becoming identifiable through the process of branding. You use very specific set of elements to make your product distinguishable from an array of products in the supermarket or in the market as a whole and make your product stand out. That is the importance of branding. The next point, it gives a company a leverage. What do I mean by leverage? Let's say for example, there is an advertisement of Adidas. Adidas is basically a footwear product. What does it do when it advertises itself? It advertises itself saying that it is the one element that everybody needs in order to attain the highest level of fitness in life. Fitness and shoes are actually two very different constructs. But what Adidas does is links itself to the completely different construct of fitness and markets itself. This is known as leverage. Every product needs leverage in order to sell itself. Washing powder Nirma sells itself saying it gives dignity to, to someone who wears clothes washed by Nirma. Dignity and washing powder are two very different concepts. Leveraging is the key to marketing it. This happens only through branding. Next point, ease us out marketing and advertising. As precise as a brand or a service is when it comes to its identity, as easy it gets to market that product or to advertise that product. And branding is the process through which you give a product the identity that it needs. And that makes the process of advertising so much easier. Next point, ease us out consumer preference. For example, people wanting comfort can go to a particular brand when it comes to clothing and people wanting fashion go to another fashion brand. Imagine a textile product that you are trying to brand. Maybe you are branding it on the basis of comfort clothing. That builds the kind of people who prefer comfort and clothing towards you. Imagine you are making a brand that is fashionable. It pulls the people who are looking for fashion towards your brand. This way it eases out the preferences of the consumers towards your particular product or service in the wide array of products in the market. Next point, eases out a generation of referrals leading to easy discovery of the product. This means there are some elements with which the people can remember the product easily. 
Let's say for example you want to describe Maggie to a particular friend and you cannot remember the term Maggie. You say there's a packet of noodles which has yellow color packaging and has a picture of a bowl at the front. That is how you refer to a product using a brand identity. And that is how every single product generates referrals and draws customers towards it. Branding protects the features of the brand. You must have heard ample instances where the logos, the taglines, the color codes, the brand ambassadors even of particular products or services were stolen by another particular brand. That happens when the branding process of a particular service or a product is poor. When you have established your brand in such a manner that it is easily recognized by the people already, you are protecting the elements of your product from theft. Let's say for example, just do it is a tagline that is associated with Nike. No one on earth can steal that tagline from Nike anymore because it is that well established and remembered by its audiences. Next point. It helps the company survive temporary crisis. Let me quote the example of Maggie again here because there is no better example for this. Maggie underwent a severe crisis a few years ago, but it overcame it. Why? Because it had such an established branding process in the years before the crisis. Whenever there is a crisis that occurs to a product or a service which is rather inevitable in the field of marketing, a firm brand or a well-established brand actually helps the product, industry, service, establishment, institution to overcome that crisis utilizing the elements of the brand. The brand is a reputation that is built by the industry. That brand can be utilized easily to overcome crisis. Next point, branding increases the estimated worth of the company as well as attracts distributors. Bigger brands like Nike, Adidas or Reebok have much easier time attracting distributors, showrooms and even customers because they have built their brand to such an extent already. The process of branding makes it much easier for a product to attract customers as well as distributors and retailers. Not to mention, it also increases the profit because brands determine prices. Remember how we pay thousands of money for a shoe bought in a showroom which is probably available for a couple of hundred rupees on the footpath? That is the brand identity. The brand determines the price of the product which inevitably increases the profit for the company. The next point, it obviously keeps new competition at bay. Imagine you are about to start a footwear brand. You are definitely contesting with the local brands that are available around you and not with the international brands that have already been established. Once the process of branding goes on for a couple of years, you establish yourself in such a way that you are keeping new competition at a very safe distance from you. The next point, it establishes an emotional connection leading to loyalty. Coca-Cola would be the best example for them. Americans still prefer Coca-Cola over any other drink in the market. They seem to have an emotional connect with it because Coca-Cola sponsored drinks during World War. A brand is an emotional connection. Generally, even if there are thousands of similar products available in the market, a loyal consumer goes to a very particular brand and picks it up with a blind eye. That happens only through the process of years and years of effective branding. And the last point, it enhances employee pride. A brand is actually not only about the customers, it is also about the employees who work for the particular product or the service or the company or even the institution. The extent of happiness of your employees reflects in the extent of happiness of your customers. An employee must always feel proud to be working for your product, for your service or your institution. Only then he can work hard enough to keep your customers satisfied. These are the very few but the most prominent important features of branding that have been listed out. Thank you.